on the floor of the 2010 ITSEC convention in Orlando, Florida. You can see and try just about anything. For the last few minutes, I've been playing with a fairly realistic F-16 that has been, well, let's just say highly modified from a simulation standpoint to include motion cueing via a seat that is giving me all the physical cues that go with G without the G. Uh, divine insp divinely inspired by Crane Aerospace and Fane Models, what we have here is an intriguing ground-based simulator that has a fairly uh, faithful cockpit, uh, very nice uh, set of displays here, uh, but at the same time a seat that uh, shudders when you stall it, thumps when the gear comes up, uh, pull, sucks you down in the seat in G, and starts pushing you out when you go negative. Pretty cool. Well, what I have here today is a GQing seat of this particular model being an Asus II, but it could be any model aircraft seat, airliner, fighter jet, or otherwise. The purpose of this seat is to implement a tactile feel to a pilot in training in a simulator to more or less limit and train their muscles so that they understand where the limits really are in an airplane. Most simulators really only have a visible response. You can only see what's going on and if you've ever flown a uh, computer airplane simulator, a desktop simulator, the first thing that you notice is you have a tendency to overdo the airplane. You stall it, you crash it, and you get lost in what it is you're doing. So what this seat does is it lets you know how much you've turned the airplane, how hard you're pulling on the airplane, whether you're actually straight and level or whether you're sinking or climbing. And it also gives you other feeling like whether the airflow is actually going over the airplane like it should. For example, when you get into a stall, it starts to produce all sorts of vibrations and other input that normal simulators just don't give you. So this, this provides that feeling for you. Freedom through innovation. It's what led us to develop Cirrus Flying 2.0, the framework for a bold new take on private aviation. And as a result, the gap between the aircraft we produce and those of our competitors continues to widen. Cirrus knows where the personal aircraft industry is headed. We're already there. Matt, who's the kind of customer that you're shooting for when you uh, put a product like this into the market? Uh, typically, it's, it's militaries, uh, air forces from all over the world our primary customers just because there are higher performance pilots out there they're the ones who usually are pulling the airplanes to the extent of their capabilities so they need to learn right from the simulator where those capabilities really lie although there is a market for these in the airliner world we haven't had a great deal of success in selling them to airlines where does this fit into the uh, to the proper training regimen for any fighter pilot Actually, it's a pretty primary component when it comes to the simulation environment. You already have all of the real feel in the cockpit, and you have views that look realistic on the outside, but what you don't really have is feel of what the airplane's doing with that environment. So what this seat does is physically shake you around, move you up and down, and push on your pressure points and pull on your straps and loosen them, and inflate and deflate your G-suit and G-helmet to give those cues to the pilot. This is when this sort of thing happens. Probably the biggest benefit would be when you're taking off in an airplane, you are at a high angle of attack, you are going very slow and obviously very close to the ground. That's a bad time to be startled by a thump, a noise, or a particular vibration the airplane may actually produce that's not going to be well described verbally in a classroom. So once you get in the simulator, you can actually feel this for yourself firsthand before you get in the airplane and scare yourself on takeoff. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. All right, so uh, aside from this particular seat, which is an Asus II seat, which is uh, you, you find in a variety of airplanes, this cockpit representing an F-16, we actually make the seats for uh, pretty much any airplane that you would want. Our particular company is Build to Suit. We ideally make things 
uh, completely accurate. Spacing of handles, size, shape, texture, color, how much force it takes to pull handles, the weight of the straps, the shape of the buckles, the, the whole nine yards. What kind of response are you getting from pilots in the field? The response that we're getting is actually pretty good. Although these are for mainly fighter jets, we make them for race cars as well. And the benefit behind that is they can feel when the car is more or less sliding, when it gets that kind of vibration, the tires slipping and sliding. And in simulators for race cars, they find a highly marked improvement in the response of the drivers, of behind their timing of when they're actually inputting onto the wheel and messing with the brake and throttle and shifting. What kind of development effort went into producing something like this? Well, it's although this is a final product, it's still under development. We like to say that we continuously develop our product more and more and more. So let me say that it's been a multi-decade process and as technology advances, so does the product. It, is, it was initially pneumatic and hydraulic. It's now all electromechanical, so there's no oils or anything like that. Everything is sealed and self-contained. And basically all we need is a power cord and a data cable to feed to the computer and the computer connects to the seat and that's it.